Hello, welcome to A Week in Watches, episode 47. My name is Blake Bettner, your host this week. This is a weekly look back at all the watches, news, and stories from the industry that you may have missed. Before we jump into the news this week, just a quick reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. We noticed a lot of you watching aren't subscribers. We certainly appreciate it if you hit that subscription bell. Helps us out a lot. And a heads up that we have a one and one plus Slack channel uh, that is dedicated to enthusiasts and readers just like you, just like us. If you go and sign up for our newsletter, you will get free access to this community. You'll get a sneak peek at some of the content that we're working on. You'll get to have your voice heard in terms of what we look to be working on, what kind of watches we're bringing in for review. You'll be able to suggest content, you'll be able to share your daily wrist checks, and more. So don't forget to sign up for our newsletter for access to one one plus Slack channel. And finally, be sure to stick around to the end where we will address some of your comments from last week's video. All right, we're kicking this week off with a new watch from Manta. This is a Noble uh, that now comes with a mint colored dial. You might remember the Noble, it was released a few years ago. Lovely, kind of sports, casual, somewhere in there watch, a 38.5 millimeter steel case polished bezel ring. This is used as the Manta M22 movement, which is based on a Salita SW300. This is priced from $1,795. Now it is offered in a mint dial. The color takes its inspiration from 60s Italian vibes. I think of these Vespas running around on the beach down there somewhere. I don't know, I've never been to Italy, but uh, it seems about right, and the colorway kind of leans into this personality. It's very cool, and adds a bit of personality to a watch that had previously come with kind of darker monotone dials. So now this is kind of taking a step into a new territory, and I think the watch accepts it very nicely. Again, this is a overall like kind of a really great watch. We've reviewed it before. We'll put a link to that down below. That's the Monte Noble, now with a mint dial. Next up, we're moving to a watch from Zelos. This is a new Mako GMT. This is a long-awaited watch. It's using the Miyota 9075 True GMT movement. In a true Zelos form, this comes with an array of very exotic dials. Listen to some of these names. Raindrop Carbon, Malachite, Blue Meteorite, Mosaic Mother of Pearl. And they all look just as crazy as you might expect them to based on those names. This is a 40 millimeter steel case, 46 millimeters lug to lug, and just 11.5 millimeters thick, and all coming with a ceramic bezel. Best of all, they start under $500, $435 to start. So uh, there's a lot to enjoy with these watches. Big personality here, as we come to expect with Celos, and it's all present here with that awesome Miyota 9075 movement. And we got more information linked below. We have a couple of other fun, unexpected, colorful watches to go through from last week as well. We're gonna lead that off with these bolder Pokemon watches. Pokemon. That's right, Pokemon watches within their Voyager series here. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about Pokemon. There's a little out of my generation. It's cards, is it a game, is it a video game? Maybe a little bit of all of that. These watches, have four different characters featured on the dial. Pikachu, Pikachu. Charizard, <laughs> Venusaur, and Blastios. Blastoise. Blastios. That sounds about right. The Pikachu and the Charizard are time-only watches using Seiko and H35 movements. The Blastios gets a 24-hour sub-dial at 10 o'clock, which is kind of a neat feature. And the Venusaur gets a Mecha Quartz a chronograph movement. Each of these feature bright colorways that come together nicely to honor the character that they are inspired by. Now, these are not available in the US. These are available in Singapore, Hong Kong, and Thailand. You can hover to Boulder to see more information on these watches, maybe figure out a way that you might be able to land one. They're 40 millimeters in size, and they're all $449. If you're into Pokemon, if you're of that generation, if you've got kids that are, definitely check these out. They are a lot of fun. And we've got more on these uh, linked down below as well. All right, next up, we've got a watch inspired by another character that you might be even less familiar with. This is a watch from Louis Rard. It's a collaboration with Constantine Chaikin. This is a watch that is based on Constantine Chaikin's very popular Ristmann series of watches that brings that design language into a Louis Rard regulator. Now, this was inspired by Lico from Slavic folklore. The eye is the hour hand, and then the long arm, which kind of hits both ends of the minute track, serves as a minute hand, and then there's a rotating kind of open mouth teeth situation going on at six o'clock. Very interesting, very unique, and very referential to the Ristmann series by Konstantin Chaikin. This uses a Salita SW266. It comes in two sizes, 42 millimeters and 39 millimeters. 
The 39 millimeter case gets purple accents, while the 42 millimeter case gets green accents around the size. These are limited edition, so I'm not sure if any are still available, but this is a watch that certainly tests the boundaries of Louis Erard's conceptual series of regulators that we've seen them do with quite a few collaborators up to now, and I think it works. I keep pushing the boundaries, and this might be the most successful one yet. And finally this week we have a new watch from Christopher Ward. Not just a new watch, a new collection from Christopher Ward. This is called the 12. That name is a reference to the 12-sided dodecahedron bezel piece uh, that's on these. This is an integrated sports watch, casual watch, 40 millimeters in diameter. It comes in steel and it also comes in titanium with a chronometer spec movement. In steel it's just hair under 10 millimeters in thickness and in titanium it's just under nine millimeters in thickness. Really impressive specs here. This also gets a textured dial. These come in a broad array of colors from black and silver to light blue and even purple in the titanium case. So there's a lot to enjoy with these watches beyond the uh, frankly pretty impressive specs. The fully integrated bracelet is one of them. I haven't had my hands on this watch so I can't say for sure how it's gonna feel. These are all priced under $1,500 including the titanium one. So it sounds like a lot of watch for the money, particularly when you account for the fully integrated bracelet. Bracelet. It certainly looks referential to quite a few other watches in the integrated sports watch game, particularly call out a certain watch from Chapek, but none of those come in uh, to this kind of a price range, so hats off to Chris Ford for doing that here. But we'll have a lot more on this watch coming soon. These will be shown and available at the Wind Up Watch Fair that is happening well as this airs, so keep an eye out for hands-on live pictures, maybe on our Instagram feed. You can also see them on our Warn Wound Plus Slack channel that I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. All right, in closing here, uh, there's a couple of comments I wanted to call out from last week's video to answer your questions. If you want any of your questions answered, be sure to leave a comment in this video and we might address them next week. All right, starting off with Marco Gans, who asked what was on my wrist. It was a Baru Metric, the new black PVD version. Lovely watch, that, uh, and another integrated watch. Moving on, uh, John Monticelli, I think that's how you say that, who seems quite fed up with integrated bracelets. We've been getting a lot of these lately and uh, doesn't seem to be any sign of slowing down, asking when we are going to get over that trend. John, I wish I knew, buddy. All right, that does it for episode 47 of A Week in Watches. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, again, now's a great time to do so. Uh, if you're interested in getting more behind the scenes looks at the content that we're creating, be sure to sign up for our Morning Wound mailing list and you will get access to the Morning Wound Plus Slack channel. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and share. And until next time, thanks for tuning in. Take care.